The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. This is the truth, and I am speaking in Christ without pretense, as my conscience testifies for me in the Holy Spirit. There's great sorrow and unremitting agony in my heart. I could pray that I myself might be accursed and cut off from Christ, if this could benefit the brothers who are my own flesh and blood. They are Israelites. It was they who were adopted as children. The glory was theirs and the covenants. To them were given the law and the worship of God and the promises. To them belong the fathers. And out of them, so far as physical descent is concerned, came Christ, who was above all. God, blessed forever. Amen. Our response is taken from Psalm 147. Praise Yahweh, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God, for he gives strength to the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. He maintains the peace of your frontiers, gives you your fill of finest wheat, he sends his word to the earth. His command runs quickly. He reveals his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. For no other nation has he done this. No other has known his judgments. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone to share a meal in the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. Now, there in front of him was a man with dropsy. And Jesus addressed the lawyers and the Pharisees with the words, is it against the law to cure someone on the Sabbath or not? But they remain, remained silent. So he took the man and cured him and sent him away. Then he said to them, Which of you here, if his son falls into a well or his ox, will not pull him out on a Sabbath day without any hesitation? And to this, they could find no answer. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 